When you hear the name Alvin and the Chipmunks, what do you think of? For me, I remember growing up with their movies and seeing their music on TV. However, despite this popularity, the band would actually have a pretty depressing fallout. Which is why today, I'd like to tell you the story of how Alvin and the Chipmunks broke up. On October 9th, 2015, a post would be submitted to r slash Alvin and the Chipmunks, which included the following. What happened to Alvin and the Chipmunks? I know the group broke up, but are they really done making music? As the post says, Alvin and the Chipmunks would break up sometime in 2015. However, many people still aren't aware of what led to the group's split and how it happened, all of which this video is designed to address. But first, some context. Alvin! Alvin and the Chipmunks were a singing animal trio comprised of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, led by their father, manager Dave, someone who found the Chipmunks and took them in. While this sounds like a happy story, Alvin and the Chipmunks as a band was actually pretty problematic. Starting with Dave, he had a few issues of his own. Often forcing the Chipmunks into working long hours, Dave was abusive, reckless, and even occasionally threw items at the band whenever they weren't focusing. One time Dave was so mad that he threw a beer bottle at Theodore which broke his ribs and got him hooked on painkillers. As for the group themselves, the pressure of their careers would lead them down some pretty dark paths. For example, Alvin notoriously became a drug addict, often abusing cocaine and even heroin to get through his shows. Theodore would soon follow, routinely abusing Vicodin, leaving Simon as the sober one of the group trying to keep the band together. While this sounds bad for the Chipmunks, this darker direction for the group actually allowed them to create their greatest album, the Alvin and the Chipmunks' darkest album, Sludgefest. Sludgefest was an album created by Alvin and the Chipmunks that has remained unpopular due to its obscurity among fans. When people think of the Chipmunks, they don't often associate depression and substance abuse with them. However, these were the issues that the band wanted to approach in their newest body of work. At the time of recording, the band was at a place where life seemed hopeless, but the creation of this album would change everything. With themes about drug addiction, death, and loneliness, Sludgefest quickly became the Chipmunks' most successful piece of music. It just wasn't very popular. In one interview with Simon, he described the writing process as miserable. For example, it's said that one time Theodore asked if he could write a song for the album, to which Alvin reportedly responded to by smashing a guitar on his face and telling him to get the fuck out. In that interview, Simon said, Sometimes the group would show up high, and sometimes they'd show up drunk. God help anyone who got an album's way when he was drunk. While tension was high in the recording sessions, the actual music in Sludgefest translated flawlessly. Critics raved at his bold direction taken by the band, and it was inevitable they would go on tour, which would actually be the group's final touring ever. Alvin and the Chipmunks' final shows were chaotic at best and pandemonium on average. Aside from the obvious drug problems of the group, fans would be endangered by the trampling mosh pits, various objects being thrown between the stage and crowd, and even the antics of the band members themselves. One time it's said that Alvin threw an amplifier into the crowd because he was tired of hearing the sound of the other chipmunks. Inevitably, the group would reach its final tour dates, and as quickly as their success came, it would fade. One audience member recounts the final show as follows. Never forgot their last show. Alvin covered himself in shit, stage dived, and walked right out the front doors. Simon and Theodore kept playing their sets and invited people on stage. It was chaos that night, but it was magic you don't see anymore. After that show, the group would never tour again. However, things reached their lowest for the band when Alvin, the lead singer of the Chipmunks, would take his own life by locking himself into a microwave. After this, Alvin and the Chipmunks officially broke up. You can still listen to Sludgefest today, and I'll include a link to the album in the description of this video. With that being said, where is the band now? Theodore lives somewhere in the Midwestern United States. After being checked into rehab on a few different occasions, it's no telling what his condition is. Simon appears to be doing well, and continues to release solo work to grieve for the loss of his band and his brother. As for Dave, no one really knows where he is. There's a few theories, but nothing's really been confirmed. With all that being said, even though the group officially broke up in 2015, it's still possible to hear new Alvin and the Chipmunks music. However, it's important to know that those people singing aren't the actual Alvin and the Chipmunks, but instead are people having their voices pitched up to resemble the original band. After Sludgefest, the group never truly made another album. And with that, now you know the story about how Alvin and the Chipmunks broke up. Thank you for watching.